I do story, uh, script writing, and uh, do some concept, a bunch of things. Okay, now, now can you give us a basic overview of Disney Infinity? Um, Disney Infinity, my goodness, a basic overview. There are, the starter pack comes with three separate uh, play sets. Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Monsters University, and the other one. It's incredible. It's losing my mind. Um, the three different play sets are very property specific. So the things that you do in Pirates are very pirate themed. You ride around on ships and you shoot at other ships and you play as Jack Sparrow or as Davy Jones uh, or as Captain Barbosa. And it's a very pirate experience. Same with Incredibles and with Monsters University. Um, then there's the toy box where everything that you get out of those play sets can be used. And there's other things too. There's weapons and vehicles and uh, mounts, things you can ride. There's a bunch of different things from all Disney properties that all come together in the toy box, which is a kind of uh, self-expression, creative, imaginative, do what you want to. Okay. Now, now, in the starter set, what are the three characters you get? Because you get three action figures. Yeah, you get Sully and Jack Sparrow yeah. and Mr. Incredible. Okay. Now, how, how does the DLC work? Because I know with the, with the um, characters, you can buy the action figures. How does that work out? How does that change the game? Um, so you mean other characters that you buy yes. in addition to those? Uh, they, like, for instance, in The Incredibles, you start with Mr. Incredible, but you can also get uh, Elastigirl, Violet Dash, and Cinderella. And you're hanging out Dash right here. Yes. Yes, there's this table full of Dash right over there. Um, so any of those can play, so the, uh, the family can team up and uh, save the city. Uh, in any combination that you want to. So it's, and then any of those characters can also go into the toy box. And the nice thing is they each have their own uh, abilities. So Mr. Incredible obviously very strong. Um, Violet can go invisible, so in multiplayer, she is completely invisible and you can't see her at all, so she can sneak up on people. And, uh, each of them have their own strengths, so there's a reason to use them. So I have a Wii U, and part of the reason I bought the Wii U is because you can play the game from the screen. Is this one of those games? Can you actually play on the screen with your tablet? I, I do not you even know that. that one. I'm sorry, that, that one, uh, uh, I'm just a dumb story guy. No, I was like, that's all right. <laughs> now, now, I did see when you were showing the previous one, Pirates Makes a Birth in there. What, 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 why is it there and what will you be able to do with it? Sorry, why? Now, I saw they had Spaceship Earth, and they're showing the previews for the game. Now, what, what are you able to do with it? Uh, Spaceship Earth is mostly just a decoration. You can you can fly up on top of it. I uh, was playing this with my daughter, and I built a rail slide that went all the way around it. Um, but it's mostly just a set piece. It's, it's there for visual interest. Uh, and there's other things like there's there's buildings from other Disney films. There's other attractions from the park, and there uh, I just have a lot of flavor and make. Make it a very Disney experience. Now, now one last thing. What is your favorite character in the game from now? My favorite character in the game is probably the Lone Ranger. That's the part I've been working on, and I'm really excited for people to see the Lone Ranger film and to see the, uh, the game that we based on. I like the Lone Ranger. He's got a great gun and he's got a cool horse. And the game's coming out. Uh, Lone Ranger comes out on launch date, August 18th. So August 18th, y'all look out. August 18th, Disney Infinity, and Stephanie McGee updates signing off.